Living Legends, profiles from the National Business Hall of Fame. Brought to you by Bell South, everything you expect from a leader. Peter Lynch, former manager of Fidelity's Boston-based $13 billion Magellan Fund, surprised Wall Street in May 1990 by retiring at age 46. Acclaimed as America's top money manager, Lynch quit his 100-an-hour-a-week job to devote more time to his family, church, and charity. A graduate of Boston College, Lynch started at Fidelity while still an MBA candidate at Penn's Wharton School of Finance. Well, I worked the summer 66 between years of graduate school, and then I had two years in the Army. And then I came back in 69. And actually, it was eight years I was in the research department, you know, which was a long period of time. But I think in retrospect, it was terrific. If it had been just one year or two years, then all of a sudden you're managing a fund. I mean, what really counts is when you step to the plate, they start throwing those fastballs at you and the curveballs. And I think the in fact I had eight years in the research department, and I had been buying stocks since I was 20, and I was now 33, I think I was ready to, you know, have a chance to decide what stocks are overpriced and what stocks are valuable. Were you set free in this environment in Fidelity to do just that? Well, Fidelity, obviously, we have different types of funds. Some funds have a very strict limitation. They can only buy very conservative stocks with dividend yields, or they have to buy overseas stocks, or they have to buy cyclical stocks. The Magellan Fund was a very flexible fund, so it was an ideal product. I could buy whatever I wanted, you know, as long as I understood what they did. I mean, that was the, you know, I, I could buy overseas companies. Volvo was my largest position at one point in time. I could buy companies that were in any industry. That was a big edge, I think. One of your trademarks at Magellan was the number of stocks in the yes, portfolio right. that you managed. Right. Um, and the more your critics said it's too big, right, right. you're getting greedy, sure. the more you were determined to prove them right, wrong, and you right. did. Not really. No, I actually, I think that those critics that you mentioned, they probably kept me on the job three or four extra years. And when the fund got to be a billion, people said, get out of it. When it got to be three billion, they said, it's too big, forget about it, get leave. And then in the last five years I managed the fund, it beat 99% of all funds. It was the largest fund in the country. That's what I'm most proud about. Would you make the analogy that is it closer when you manage a fund to an art or a science? Oh, it's definitely an art. I mean, it's clearly an art. I mean, it was a science everybody would hire, you know, buy time in a Cray computer, an IBM computer, put all the variables in, everybody would be a billionaire. I mean, it's clearly an art. Tomorrow, outperforming the beast.